question is from Thunderbolt. Is there ever a need to go above 12 reps or are you wasting your time after that? Oh my God, yes. Oh, totally. You know what? This is, uh, again, you know, talking about pivotal moments in my, you know, strength training or muscle building career. Uh, I remember the first time I started doing 15 to 20 reps <laughs> and I actually had some of the- It's like death. Oh, well, I had some of the best gains because up until that point, I believe that anything over six reps was a waste of time. If mm -hmm. I was a skinny guy trying to build muscle, why would I ever want to do, you know, endurance type training or high repetitions? That was for girls that wanted to tone their muscles. That wasn't for young skinny guys like me who wanted to build muscle. And so I was always lifting heavy six to eight reps at most. Mm -hmm. And man, when I started training in the 15 to 20 rep range, I blew up. And I remember going like, what the fuck? This is the secret was mm -hmm. to yeah. lift high reps. And then the truth is it, it wasn't that it was 15 to 20 reps that I never trained there. So if you're asking this question, and you never go beyond 12 reps because you think it's wasting your time. It's the opposite is going to be true. If you go lift 15, 20 reps, I bet you you see some of the greatest gains you've seen in your programming just by simply doing that. Oh, for, I swear, my legs grew. My legs tend to grow pretty easily anyway, but they never grew as much as they did when I did 20 rep sets of squat. Uh, and by the way, that, that's br brutal. It's absolutely grueling to do anything over 10, uh, 10 reps, excuse me, of barbell squats. And I did sets of 20 with light weight and my legs mm. literally exploded. No, and studies show this, by the way, 20 reps, 25 reps. If the intensity is high and the form is good, yeah. that will send a very, all rep ranges. I would say under 25 or 30, even 30 will build some muscle, especially in beginners or as a, as a, as a occasional novel, you know, rep range. But for most of you listening right now, your rep range can be up to 25, I yeah. would say. I would, yeah, and I definitely, I mean, I agree with you guys in terms of changing it up and having that response. However, there are some exercises I probably wouldn't do 20 reps with, like a deadlift, for instance. Sure. Or like any kind of a power uh, focused exercise, like just eliminate a certain like amount of, yeah, exercises from that protocol. I definitely think it's worth exploring, you know, that high rep range, but be appropriate in terms of like the programming of the exercises. So I've gone back and forth on how I feel about that. Uh, because the value that I find from deadlifting and squatting really high rep like that is just that if in order to deadlift 15 to 20 reps or squat 15, 20, I have to go really light. Mm -hmm. And then, and it forces, it just, it's a, it's a lot of practice. So it's a lot of practice with a, a weight that I can control really well. Um, and I, I find that part of it, be, as far as the muscle building aspect of it, I agree with you. Like you're, you're going to get your biggest bang for your buck when you're doing a big compound lift on that, when you're doing, you know, singles to five reps out of those types of exercises, that's where you're going to see the most muscle, the most adaptation CNS wise, you're going to get from that. But you know, there's an argument to be made on just the fact of doing 15 to 20 reps forces you to practice that movement. And if there's a movement that more people I think need to practice, I would I could make the case that squatting and deadlifting are, are two of those. Squatting more so. Deadlifting, yeah, you, you know, that's right. you yeah. got to be careful. And, and, and you can do it. You can definitely do it. I've done it. Um, here's the problem. Once you start to go up to higher reps, the fatigue is what stops the set. Right. That's, that's why you have to go super light. Yeah. Again, yeah, super light. It's, but it, it almost seems like- uh, The I risk starts to get higher. You know, Here's where it doesn't make sense at all. It almost and, seems nil at yeah, that point and, when and, you're lifting that light. And I can see what you're both saying, and I can see that there could be some value. You just got to go really light and be perfect, but definitely not with power. Uh, you know, hang cleans and snatches, terrible high idea. reps, terrible. Terrible. The, the, the risk goes through the roof once your form breaks down just a tiny bit, and you're going to do that for- 15 reps, you better be using a broomstick because once your form breaks down just a little bit, that exercise now became dangerous, very dangerous.